breaking news coming in that Congress General Secretary Rahul Gandhi has once again put his foot in his mouth and Rahul on his visit to Chandigarh has said that 7 out of 10 youths are drug addicts in Punjab and Rahul made these remarks while criticizing the Badal government over rising unemployment in the state. You have to remember that Rahul Gandhi has actually made a habit of committing these four powers. In Uttar Pradesh, he'd uh, said about uh, how a lot of people from UP who'd gone to Mumbai are beggars. And now in Chandigarh, he said seven out of ten youth in the state are unemployed. While he, this uh, was uh, during a speech that Rahul was making in Chandigarh. He was criticizing the Badal government over rising unemployment in the state. To Manaman Singh China, a correspondent who's uh, tracking the visit of Rahul Gandhi. And uh, Manaman, give us or rather set this story up for us. What exactly was transpiring in that rally? What was Rahul Gandhi or the thread that Rahul Gandhi was uh, talking about? And when did he actually make that remark? Well, Rahul Gandhi was uh, addressing a rally of MSUI in Punjab University in Chandigarh. And which is when he made this remark that, uh, his exact words were to the effect that uh, our seven uh, youths out of ten are having drug problems in Punjab. He was perhaps roughly, uh, uh, he was referring to the uh, problem of drug addiction in Punjab. It is not known whether, uh, where he has got his figures from, whether these are authentic or not. There is a drug problem in Punjab, no doubt, and whether it is of the magnitude uh, of which uh, Rahul is referring to, uh, that is something which uh, needs to be investigated. Right, Manaman, stay with us. We've also got our deputy editor, Kartike Sharma, joining us. And Kartike, this is another statement that's going to whip up quite a storm, quite a frenzy, given that Rahul Gandhi has claimed that seven out of ten youth in Punjab are unemployed. Now, a lot of people will ask the question, who writes Rahul Gandhi's speeches? I, I, you see, I would say that uh, uh, the Rahul probably has, uh, has got the delivery wrong. And this has not happened for the first time. Uh, when I was in Uttar Pradesh, he made a similar statement, uh, and, he, and he said it from a podium in Allahabad uh, that the people of Uttar Pradesh have to go outside and beg. Uh, in which Hindi the translation was "bahar ja ke bhik mangni hai," which uh, the metaphorically it meant that you don't have any industry in Uttar Pradesh, so you need to migrate outside to get jobs. So the similarly here, you have a very high ratio of people who are uh, uh, drug addicts in Punjab. Now instead of Putting it in a different word or a perspective uh, to say that 7 out of 10 are drug addicts, especially in the youth, would obviously uh, on the face of it uh, would say that it's a politically incorrect thing. So I would say that this, this has not happened for the first time. I would say this is ha happening again. And probably it's time for him to reflect that when you speak from a public podium or, or you, are, you are addressing a rally, there, is a, there, there are ways of putting things differently. I think that, that's what happened in Uttar Pradesh in Allahabad and that's what has, that has happened in Punjab today that perhaps the message has gone uh, completely wrong. But yes, Punjab does have a very, very high rate of drug addicts. But then uh, to put it so bluntly and like that uh, and, and, to use, and to use the word that they are, uh, they constitute 70% of the population of the youth is politically incorrect. So I, I see a common thread in, in both incidents. Right. Right, Karthike and Manaman, stay with us. We'll come back to you in just a moment. For the benefit of our viewers who are tuning in right now, let's just listen in to what Rahul Gandhi has said in that rally in Chandigarh. <laughs> All right, so is that a statement of fact or a foot-in-mouth statement by Rahul Gandhi? That's a question that obviously everyone will be looking to an answer for. And this comment is obviously going to generate a huge amount of political frenzy. Thanks a lot, Karthike and Manamit for joining us and giving us those details.